Welcome back, boys and girls. Today, I have for you a book about reading and math. Let's get to it. Me, counting time from seconds to centuries. And you guessed it, it is the same author, the same character even, as me on the map that we read in social studies earlier this year. Counting Time from Seconds to Centuries by Joan Sweeney, illustrated by Annette Cable. And this is brought to you thanks to Dragonfly Publishing Company. Dragonfly, we appreciate you letting us read aloud our books and sharing on Google Classroom during our remote learning time. So here we go, me, Counting Time. This is me. I'm inviting my friends to my birthday party. I'm going to be seven years old. Just think, seven candles for seven years. But a year isn't a candle. A year is a measurement of time. Time, time comes in different amounts. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, and more. Here's how I tell them apart. First, I think of the blink of an eye. That's about one second. I can count seconds by saying one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and so on and so forth. Then I think of 60 seconds. That's 60 Mississippis. That's one minute of time. I can write an invitation to my party in one minute of time. And I think of 60 minutes, right? So far, we've got 60 seconds and one minute. 60 minutes equal what? You guessed it, one hour. That's one hour of time, the time it takes to make a birthday cake. Then think of 24 hours, so 60 seconds and one minute, 60 minutes and one hour. 24 hours is what? One day, that's one day. The earth rotates once around itself every day. One day, two days, three days. Then I think of seven days. That's one week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday and then there's Saturday. Then I think of four weeks. That's about one month. Most months are just over four weeks. Only February is four weeks exactly, except during leap year. Then it's four weeks plus one day. Just like this year, we have February 29th. Next year, February will end in, on February 28th. Then I think of 12 months. Can you say them with me? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's one year from winter to summer to fall. Then, here's something new for you. I think of 10 years. 10 years is called a decade, even longer than I've been alive. So she has a scrapbook here, and she's only able to put in photographs of, for seven years because she has not lived to be eight, nine, or 10 years old yet. 10 years equals one decade. And then I think of 10 decades, 100 years. That's one century. Just like when we were doing math, we learned that a century is a group of 100. That's one century, long enough for a tree to grow real tall. And then I think of 10 centuries. That's the same as one millennium. 
1,000 years. Whoa, way older than Miss Letchworth. This castle was built in the year 1000. So now it would be just over a thousand years or a millennium old. Imagine, you ready for this number? 31 billion, 556 million, 926,000 blink seven I. That's a long, long time. Good long number. A lot longer than seven years. So how do I get from a millennium to my time? From a millennium to now? Here's how. A millennium ago, someone built a Viking ship like this. Now, it would be 1,000 years, 10 centuries old. A century ago, my great-great-grandpa had this picture taken. Now, it's 100 years old. So she's trying to trace back a long time ago, all the way, years and years and years back in her family's history. A decade ago, my Nana sewed this wedding dress for my mother. Now it's, a decade is, 10 years old. A year ago, my family moved to our brand new house. Now, it is 12 months old, which is the same as a year. About a month ago, my cat had kittens. So now they are four weeks old because a month is the same as four weeks about. Then a week ago, I got new soccer shoes. Now they're seven days old. A day ago, I painted this picture. Now it's 24 hours old, the same as a day. My dad can make my birthday cake in one hour. An hour is 60 minutes. A minute is 60 seconds, and a second is like the blink of an eye, a slow blink of the eye. Look at that, she has traced it from one millennium on the Viking ship all the way down to one second or the blink of an eye. In seven days, I'll be seven years old. Seven days is also a week. Seven candles, that's 200, 20,898,482 blinks of an eye. Still a lot of blinks, even if she's not a whole millennium old. I can't wait for my party. I'm going to have the time of my life. Ask your parents if they can sing that song for you, the time of your, my life. I bet they can. Um, all right, here we go. Time, 60 seconds equals one minute, good. 60 minutes equals one hour, great. 24 hours equals one day. Seven days equals one week. Four weeks equals about a month. 12 months equals one year. 10 years equals one decade. 100 years equals one century. And 10 centuries equals one millennium. 
And you know, you are experts on telling time and counting time from seconds to centuries. Until next time, mathematicians and readers. <laughs>